Hello everyone in this video let us talk about uh, managing teams in uh, portfolio for Jira. So in the previous video we discussed uh, about the configurations and uh, administration of uh, portfolio and in this video we are going to discuss a few things around uh, team management in portfolio for Jira. So we'll first uh, learn how to create a team, then we'll uh, take a look at uh, how to add team members and also at the same time uh, how to remove a team member from uh, a team in uh, portfolio for Jira. We'll also, we'll also take a look at the uh, concept of uh, shared teams and uh, we will also learn how to add the team field in your uh, project uh, screens and this is really important because uh, when you're talking about uh, managing the teams in your portfolio for Jira, you also want to have some better control of modifying the team when you're working with your uh, with, with your team members and you want to basically make sure that the respective team who is uh, responsible for your uh, issues or stories or, or maybe uh, any type of uh, issue like bug, the team members or especially the team is uh, or the right team is reflected in your uh, issue as well. So let us uh, f first take a look at how to uh, modify or how to create a team. So if you're working on your uh, portfolio uh, plan or if you're working on uh, a fresh plan from the very beginning, portfolio will uh, suggest and it will create a team for you. If you want to uh, see how that happens you can take a look at the first video in the portfolio series where we learn how to create a portfolio plan and uh, when you create, create a new plan and when you select your source the team name will be automatically suggested for you but you can always uh, create your own team if you want to have something customized so if you look at my uh, current uh, foodie plan you will uh, see that I have a few teams uh, like uh, Team Tester, Team UI UX, Team uh, Foodie Android, Team Foodie iOS, Team Foodie API, Team Foodie Website and uh, and Team Deployment. I need to remate, uh, rename this as uh, Team Deployment. And if you are watching this video for the very first time, I highly recommend you to take a look at the first two videos in the uh, Portfolio for Jira series where we talked about uh, how we are going to use portfolio and uh, just to give you a very quick uh, one minute uh, uh, introduction of uh, what are we doing right now what exactly we are trying to do trying to achieve in these uh, video series we are trying to basically build uh, a foodie uh, app along with a website along with uh, some other things like uh, developing api so the, so the whole idea here is to manage uh, multiple projects with of course multiple teams using portfolio so if you look uh, here on the right hand side uh, i have uh, basically summarized uh, what are we doing right now with the team so these are the teams that will be working on uh, our different projects but we will be using portfolio to manage them uh, at a single place uh, along with of course the team members and at the same time when you are working on teams you also have the concept of their capacity or uh, the velocity of a team which of course uh, will uh, will will look at will uh, probably modify and uh, we will uh, come back to this concept of uh, velocity or team capacity uh, in uh, future videos as we start working on portfolio and as we start uh, using portfolio for uh, tracking our work. So if we go back to the portfolio plan, uh, we already have of course uh, different teams here uh, and uh, if you want to add team members, first of all if you want to create a new team it's very simple if you click on the create team button on top you will first need to enter the enter the team name then you need to specify the uh, board uh, the associated issue source uh, where you think this team uh, member is applicable you don't need to do it but if you do that let us say if you enter something like uh, let us say you're working on a, a team website i mean we already have a team website but i'll just show you and if you select the associated board which is my foodie website board now what will happen when the when the portfolio is doing the scheduling for you uh, portfolio will uh, will will prioritize this team team website and of course team members under team uh, 
website uh, when it comes to the uh, assignment of the hose issues so this is something that you can do just to have more clarity and uh, if you have let us say uh, uh, a specific project where, where you're just working on something which is very specific like uh, developing android app developing ios app and you have uh, Android developers or iOS developers or maybe website developers working on that particular project or board, then you can select this option. But if you even if you select this option, you always have the option to uh, maybe change the plan if you think that is uh, something that you want to do, apart from, of course, using the auto schedule feature in uh, portfolio. Then you need to specify the team type. So if you're working with uh, your uh, uh, with your Scrum based projects, then you should ideally be using uh, the scrum based team type because in that case you will have uh, the concept of uh, story points that will be used for estimation and uh, uh, things will be much more uh, uh, aligned for you uh, so when you select of course your team member as a scrum you also have to specify the velocity of your whole team for the next or for your duration which is usually let us say two weeks so if you if you're working on a two week iteration which is your sprint duration then uh, if you think your team can deliver let us say uh, stories worth 30 story points then you can enter it here but uh, you you will of course come to know about this uh, number later on when you start working on the project in the beginning it is a bit difficult to estimate and uh, in the beginning it's more about uh, maybe your previous experience doing something similar for the same team so this is very simple to create a team and at the same time you also have the option to create uh, uh, or basically add a team which is already there in your system in your portfolio which is shared team so we'll also take a look at a shared team concept where you can uh, basically uh, bring in those uh, team members here for you to basically plan the work so when you have your uh, let us say team uh, created you can always come back to a specific team and you can uh, add people to these uh, teams so let us say i want to add a few people who are my testers and these people will be my uh, of course uh, i mean these testers are part of my team tester so i can add them very quickly and just to you know just to give you some uh, uh, background i already have uh, some testers in my jira instance where i added this uh, tester keyword in their name so that I can quickly find them but you, of course you don't have to do it uh, I'm sure you know who your testers are so you can always uh, find them by using this uh, member drop down here so you can add those people here you can of course uh, come back to this team and you can modify it so the moment you do it of course you can immediately see these the team members their small profile pictures will start appearing and you can also at the same time make this team as uh, maybe later on uh, i mean you think this team uh, should be a shared team so you can also uh, do that so first thing f let us talk about uh, adding team members so once you add these team members immediately you will notice something on the left hand side which is uh, this uh, orange color and it actually means that uh, these changes that you're doing right now like modifying team members these changes are not really uh, yet apply it to jira i mean when you're working with portfolio everything is in a plan mode and you have the option to of course commit those changes so we will also modify the team ui and uh, ux let me do that very quickly so i'll find a few people who are my uh, my designers or they work on uh, ui ux maybe they have my front-end developers so you can modify of course the list so once you do that you ha have of course the option to review those changes so you can review and uh, then you can um, okay something went wrong i think i shouldn't be doing that okay now let me go back to my uh, to my plan again i was trying to uh, filter those uh, changes by uh, uh, I, I just wanted to see what all filtering options i have so let me go back to my teams and uh, if i click on the review changes uh, let us not do that do this filtering right now because uh, it did something wrong uh, anyway so if you modify anything in your team you will of course be able to see what uh, changes uh, you're doing so you can see here that you added members and uh, uh, if you did any change to their weekly hours or maybe their estimation uh, like you know their velocity you can of course uh, uh, see that here so 
now we are committing those uh, changes to our uh, to our actual uh, project or portfolio in this case and uh, now your team members are available for you to use in the portfolio uh, plan and uh, if let us say some of these team members or some of these teams are you think uh, shareable maybe these team members are also uh, working on some other plan so what you can do you can also share them so maybe i want to share them maybe these testers are not really working on my foodie plan uh, only they are they are also working on other uh, other activities so you can also do that so if you click on the share button here you will get the option to uh, simply share the team and now if i probably go to my share team section i'll show you how, uh, you know there's a different place where you can take a look at all the teams all the share teams uh, and uh, uh, you can of course manage them from there but uh, you can also do that from your uh, plan and uh, I, I may also want to have my team deployment as uh, my shared uh, team so maybe I can uh, just uh, manage uh, I, I'll first add few team members and uh, I may also want to uh, submit those changes I'll first review it and if I click on the changes I can see here that few things uh, changed so I can save those changes and then I can uh, uh, make this team as my shared team. So now we have a couple of teams uh, that are shared teams and uh, there is also one more place to take a look at this uh, manage shared team section where you can take a look at all the shared teams. If I, if I click on it from the portfolio uh, menu on top, you can see these the teams here. So it's the same thing. You have, of course, same team members that you added from your uh, uh, plan and uh, of course uh, you can uh, modify it you can you can change things here if you click on let us say one of these uh, team members on the right hand side you will be able to manage their global availability and their absences now uh, and of course you uh, and of course their team availability now this thing is really in interesting because uh, when you're working with the uh, with the portfolio for jira using the new interface right now we are right, right now we are using the new interface uh, the global and team availability is not supported uh, in the new improved interface. You can turn off your new improved interface and then you will be able to use the global availability and uh, you can manage, of course, uh, uh, the team availability. Uh, this is something really interesting because the same team member might be working on two different teams and you just want to basically have some clarity that this team member is only working for you maybe Monday, Tuesday, and that is it. So you can uh, uh, do those things when you're using the uh, life plans, not the improved interface, something that you need to be aware of. But uh, of course, we'll be taking a look at those aspects uh, later on. So what else you can do with the with, with teams? So, so far, things are good. If I, if I go back to my plan, and if I now try to do some scheduling, I can of course immediately uh, uh, see here that I can probably add first my team field. So while you're working on your portfolio, you have the option to add few fields that you think uh, you, um, I mean, for you, for you to see in a better way. So let us say for one of your story, you want to assign this to maybe, uh, right now we are, we are talking about Android user sign up. I may want to assign it to my team foodie and uh, i also want to assign the other activity to my team uh, foodie android so you can of course assign these these things here like teams to the stories and you can uh, of course click on the review change and then you can save your changes to jira this is really good you are managing the uh, teams uh, and you're of course uh, doing the assignment but if i click on one of my story here and if i take a look at the story i um may want to also take a look at these teams uh, I mean of course team foodie android is a team in uh, Jira and also it is managed by portfolio but maybe when you're working on your uh, story maybe you're not really using portfolio uh, you for some reason or for obvious reasons you uh, I think it is it will be good to have that visibility about the team so right now I'm looking at one of my story which I was managing from portfolio it says of course a user sign up and it is part of the foodie android project now this particular story is uh, right now not assigned to anyone uh, but it is actually assigned to team android but we don't have any visibility here we don't really have any uh, any view here that will tell us 
about uh, the team but that is something that you can also uh, modify and uh, for doing that you need to first figure out uh, the screen that is used in this particular uh, in this particular project so right now i'm using a foodie android and if i take a look at my project settings i will uh, be able to figure out uh, in just a minute that uh, this is my uh, screen maybe i'm using a screen for uh, um, a different screen for bug or a different screen for my story so i can always uh, modify the fields so if i look at my uh, let me click on my scrum issue type screen scheme uh, of course that is uh, only for my foodie android i have my uh, list of screens that will appear in just a moment and then i can uh, always uh, modify the uh, the screens to have more fields so if i look at maybe my my default screen which is uh, being used by story epic task and sub task i should be able to uh, modify it so let us first try to do it from here so i do have a field called team if i add it here and if i go back to my uh, issue i should be able to take a look at this field and this is something that i personally prefer if i'm working on my story i may want to uh, have this visibility about the team so you can see here immediately on the right hand side uh, that there is a team uh, being assigned to uh, one of my uh, one of my um, story here so you can uh, always do that you can also manage your team uh, i mean you can do the assignment from here if you want and you also have the option to use the shared team so maybe you want to have some testing activity assigned to tester team tester so this is something that is always handy because uh, you may not always be working on the portfolio plan but of course uh, uh, any changes or any uh, assignments or any updations that you do on your jira issues you want to have this have that visibility on your portfolio plan as well and of course uh, vice versa so any change that you do here let us say if i change the assignment of my user sign up to maybe something else maybe i want to assign it to for the time being uh, let us assign it to my team uh, or maybe my team for the ios so once you do that you review the change you save the change and uh, if i go back to my same story i should see a different team here instead of food foodie android i have uh, foodie ios so this is something that uh, we will uh, of course uh, explore further in uh, in the future videos and uh, we will of course be talking about uh, um, how to manage your teams uh, when you, when it comes to of course uh, uh, assigning the activities to a shared team as well and in the next video we'll talk about uh, the uh, we'll we'll talk about the relief management where uh, we will spend some time uh, understanding how to create uh, the versions and how to do the assignment of those versions to different uh, stories that appear on the portfolio plan